Good morning, Beulah. Um, chance for me to share again um, my thoughts on a devotional. So um, this week I've chosen the morning office and the verse that comes with that one today is Exodus 14, 10 and then 13 to 16. As Pharaoh approached, the Israelites looked up and there were Egyptians marching after them. They were terrified and cried out to the Lord. Moses answered the people, do not be afraid, stand firm and you'll see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you, you need only to be still. And then the Lord said to Moses, why are you crying out to me? Tell the Israelites to move on, raise your staff, stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea onto dry ground. And as I read that, it was verse 14 of that that really spoke to me, that the Lord will fight for you, you need only to be still. And that's the NIV translation. And I sort of thought to be still, but of course it's not talking about external stillness. He didn't want them to actually just stand there and let the Egyptians come at them. It was that inner stillness. And when you look at other translations, that's easier to see. In some of them you have hold your peace, or be silent, or be calm. And I think they really give an understanding of what it's meant by be still. It's just that calmness inside to know that he is in control, not us. He's got it covered. And you only get that knowledge when you have that relationship, that closeness with God. Um, so obviously it's so important for us to be able to develop that so that we can have confidence in him and why we should be able to be calm and know. Stillness is a constant theme in the Bible. We see it across it again and again. It gets mentioned and obviously a really sort of well-known and iconic verse would be the Psalm 46.10. Be still and know that I am God. And for me, this has been a verse that's talked to me for years. As someone that's a busy doer, I like to be doing things. So that reminder of stillness to actually slow down, but actually stillness in my heart to know him are so important. In a secular world, it can be hard to do this though, because everything is about achievement and busyness and doing. Um, but we do have to hold firm to what he says to us. If there's any value in us saying we're Christians and having our relationship with Jesus, it's got to be that we trust. So we've got to walk in his ways and live for his glory. Um, and with that, he'll come and he'll fight for us. Uh, Matthew 6.33 says, Seek first the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. And that is the starting point. That's what I'm reminded of today with that verse about God fighting for me and being still, is that my first point of call is to seek first his kingdom. If you look at the Israelites, instead of holding firm to his word that they had to have eyes on him, they started looking at the problems around them. Oh my word, all these Egyptians are following us. They're coming to fight us. They've got chariots. It's a nightmare. And actually, I had listened to a good sermon in the summer um, where the message was so simple. And, and the gentleman just said, because obviously we're in COVID times, that the world is going COVID crazy. There's so much worry and everyone is looking at the problems. But actually, what we're commanded to do as Christians is different. It is eyes heavenward. It's looking at him. It's remembering he is in control. So instead of looking at circumstances, look at the character of God, the things that we know about him, the things that make a difference. So we all need confidence in his faithfulness because he has promised to fight for us. So let's be still. Let's try that today, friends, as a, a challenge to you and me as we go about our day. Whenever we have that uneasy feeling or something feels difficult, just go back to that. Seek first his kingdom and know that he will fight for us. We only need be still. Thanks very much. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you so much that you give us that confidence in you. We pray today that each one of us feels close to you and knows that you have it in hand. You are the one, the master that created the earth. 
and even when things seem immensely difficult, we can look to you for the answer. It won't always be the answer we want, but it will always be the right one for your kingdom. And it's for your glory, Lord, that we live. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thanks, friends. Have a great day today. See you soon.